a mill right versus a welder. Now, there are many welders who can weld, and we understand the concept of being a combination of welder using different gas, using different rods, being able to use uh, different equipment to accomplish your welds from piping to structural to ornamental welds. So we know the welder, who the welder is and what he does. But when it comes to a millwright, now we got a different individual. To me, I like to call the millwright the mechanic of construction. This is my personal opinion because they are taking out old things and putting in new things. They are repairing, they are setting up new factories. It can be an old, a new factory and they want to get everything set up. So normally they'll bring millwrights in to set up the conveyors, to set up the system. So normally a millwright is to me, in my personal opinion, like a industrial mechanic. He's doing industrial things as far as he's doing bolts and, and, and uh, he's leveling, he's squaring. Um, he got different tools to help them to get the conveyors running. And also they do a lot of taking old equipment out, but they do a lot of new equipment. So being a welder millwright, cause I'm a welder millwright. When I was in Nevada, I did some work as a welder millwright and I was working on the mines. So they had, normally when you're doing that, you're gonna be, you have a different certification you go through, like ocean construction, you got MSHAW for mill writing. So I'm MSHAW 48, and then I'm OSHA 10 and OSHA 30. So it's, a, it's kind of a different safety too when you're doing mill rights on some of these mines and things, but they got a lot of conveyors that's going into the mines and bringing material out. So they want you to be very uh, aware on the material and how it can affect you, especially things that you can't see. So they want you to have certain breathing apparatuses on to help you while you're doing this. But honestly, uh, you're doing a lot of mechanical things. You're using tools, you're breaking things down, you're lining back things up. And welding probably just be part of the assembly of the parts that you're doing. You know, so I have met a lot of millwrights that can weld enough to get something done, but they don't call themselves welders. And then I have scenes where they are literally have hire the mill rights and they have some welders working with the mill rights to weld certain things after they finish lining them up. So to have more things under your belt family, I think it's gonna be a greater asset for you when you diving into the world of trying to get employment and trying to expand your uh, horizon. I would say learn it all family. So as you see, I'm an iron worker, I'm a millwright, I'm a, fabrication, a, a fabricator and I'm a welder. Hold on.